All right, we are back. Looks like sound is working. And uh, yeah, so here we are in our uh, completed little crew quarter thing here. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. It's not anything like super crazy, but it works. So I'm good with it. Uh, something... Okay, so these blocks here are taking up this block, so I can't move these to the bottom side and be able to place stuff on top of here, unfortunately. But it should be fine. Um, so yeah. And then we are pressurized in here. And as soon as we open this up, we're going to be not pressurized in there. <laughs> so, okay. So we've got this basic setup figured out. Um... Now, unfortunately, this block here is in this space, so I can't put like a sign here saying, you know, crew quarters or whatever and have this one go somewhere else. Uh, that's not gonna be a thing that I can do. However, um, I could always move these to the outside of this block and have that be the thing. Um, but, so we need to figure out how we wanna close this thing off. Um, I suppose there's probably a few ways that I could do it. Um, I just, man, this would be easier to work on out in space because then I can actually use my jetpack and I can jet around instead of having to find different ways to get to places. Okay. So I know that we're going to need a block there. And then we have to figure out some way. <laughs> oh man, we have to get all of that built over on that side. All right. And then I still have to hook up the timers uh, for this area. I'll probably put them in here. Um, timer there, timer there. And that way we can kind of close that area off and I don't know, do something with that. I don't know at the moment, um, but I do know that we need to get some blocks in here. Okay, forward and jump, not that far. Oh, geez. Okay, so the first thing that I did over on the other side was to set these blocks in there so we have something to build off of. Um, of course, I should have been building these both at the same time, but oh well, too late now. Okay, so I think that this was the floor. And then if I can get up here without falling, okay. And then we had... How did we have that go? I think we had that go out again. Um, so let's throw a block in here. Yeah, okay. And then we took, I'm trying to remember this uh, from the last time that I did it. Uh, hopefully we'll get it somewhat right. And then we need this piece. And there like that. Okay, so then that's this, and then we put the door there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we have to get down here somehow. Now, okay, so here's, here's kind of an interesting thing, right? Um, I'm not playing multiplayer. There aren't other people in this world with me. It's just me by myself. So does it make sense to make crew quarters for multiple people if I'm the only one who's ever going to use them, if I ever use them? And I think the answer to that is no, it doesn't make sense. So <clears throat> one thing that I do know that I need uh, is... Um, the daily needs stuff. So we are going to make this area here be everything that we need for the daily needs. We've got lots of connectors in here. Um, I think we can get everything to work as it needs to work. So the first thing that I'm going to put in here, um, and then, I mean, we don't necessarily need 
Okay, so we have these, these, and this. So soil tray crop grower. And then we have the open hydroponics, the enclosed hydroponics. We have a food resequencer. And we have a water recycler. So we're going to need to fit all five of these things in here and probably multiples. And then also an LCD in here. So this is going to be interesting. And then these crop growers only have a connection on the bottom. They don't have anything anywhere else. So that means that absolutely this is going to have to be up here. Ah, oh, man. Because I can't put anything down here. Um, I could put this on the outside, but that wouldn't make too much sense. Okay, so... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. And then another thing that I want to do is I want this to be a closed system, actually. So that way anything that I put in here is just going to stay in here, and then I'll come down into here to grow my food, do my water, and all that other stuff. So I don't think I'm actually going to connect it to the ship's main conveyor system. I think I'm just going to make it have its own. So with that being said... Let's see how we can do this. Um, I know that there's multiple vegetables that we can grow. I don't know how many of these crop growers that I need. Um, but we'll start with three. And we're going to try to make everything work inside this system setup thing that we've got going on. So I think we want stairs to go here. And then we'll walk from here up the stairs. And then these will then be the floor. And then something I can do up there. Oh, geez. We have uh, incoming. So time to uh, vamoose. I don't want the ship to take too much damage. And I know that it is going to come for me. Okay, that is, wow. I mean, it took care of it. That is flying really close. That looks almost like it's like a ship in a tanker. That's weird. Uh, is it shooting at more stuff? What's going on? Okay. So let's just see what kind of damage that did. We have a lot of scrap out here. Holy crap. But I mean, the ship seems to be fine, so I think those are doing their job. What are, what the hell is this? This is like a V-shaped ship? That's super weird. Okay, but I mean, hey, uh, ship defenses work, so. <laughs> Uh, definitely a good thing. And I got stuck in the crack. Okay, can I get up here, please? Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to collect all the scrap that's out there right now. Um, I think we're good on everything. And then I'm just going to drop all of this stuff off for now. I can always pick up more if I need it. Um, okay. Because there's a lot of scrap out here. And I want to... Uh, Get as much of it as, whoops, that is not what I wanted to do. And I'm sure that guy is probably shooting at stuff as well. Um, something I could do is I could build a little ship or a little um, rover and then throw a build and repair system in there on fly mode. And then its only job is to go through here and either pick up or disassemble stuff that's lying around. Um, I don't think that would necessarily be an abuse or cheating necessarily because it would be specifically designed for that purpose. Um, I can't, that doesn't look like scrap, okay. So it's a thing that I could maybe do and it would kind of keep this from looking like a, I don't know, Landfill, I guess. No. Okay, programming block. 
And um, so I I saw in some other videos that there is a mod called R Scrap, in which case when you're getting all this stuff, you don't actually get like steel plates from this. You would get steel scrap or steel plate scrap. Ooh, ammo, nice. Um, so, you know, could be interesting if I did that. Um, it would make it would make doing this a lot more difficult, but at the same time, it would eliminate the need to go out and, or really the desire to go out and, you know, find ships to salvage because you're only going to be salvaging scrap. Um, and that's that's not really ideal, I guess. So, I mean, w one of the coolest things about when once you're out in space is like finding some derelict ships, like defeating the defense systems and, you know, and then, you know, grabbing all the loot out of it, you know, just disassembling the whole thing and you end up with like, I don't know, like 10,000 steel plates or something like that. So there is an aspect to the spacefaring part of this game that I think would be adversely affected it if, if I had that on here. And I do want to make that like a big part of uh, once I get out into space, like finding those ships and either like renovating them or taking them back or like completely disassembling them and just using them for parts. Um, so I might use that mod on a different playthrough, but I think for this one, I'm just going to leave it off because I do want to go be able to go out there and, you know, basically rip apart ships and, you know, grab all their stuff. Oh, man. And you're just sliding, aren't you? Okay. And that needs more parts. Question is, can I get in there? Yes. Okay, so then we'll throw all of this in there. Uh, energy low, it said. So we'll go ahead and recharge. The drink of the day is raspberry tea again. It's very delicious. Okay, so let's head back out here. And then get the rest of this guy. So, I mean, this is using up time that I would normally be using for, you know, building the base mobile ship thing. Why is it so hard to, like, hit the box for these things? You know, or hit the hit, hit the hit box. It's kind of ridiculous. be nice if there was like a reactor or something in here so I could get some uranium or something I mean not that I need it because like with the recharge system that I've got on the ship I'm I'm probably never going to need uranium uh, the only thing that I'm going to need is stone and then I'll be able to recharge the ship you know no matter what happens so I suppose I don't really need uranium. I mean, it would be nice. Uh, so like if I have like a base installation or something like that, or like a huge spaceport, uh, just to kind of have, you know, uranium for a reactor so I could do, I don't know, so I can like recharge small ships easier, like ships that don't have uh, the pill in there, you know, for recharging. Uh, okay. But um, I think we're okay for now. And I did not make that at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this stuff back in there. All right, and then we'll grab a couple of these. Managed to get some of those. Um, okay, so what do we need? We need... Um, what am I missing here? I've got motors, 
power cells, large. I need small tubes. Okay. Uh, base assembler. And we'll do 2,000. I have more than enough iron, so I'm not even worried about that at this point. Um, okay. Do I have uh, girders? I'm going to need girders. Grab a few of those. Build another 1,000. Uh, there we go. Okay. So let's hop back up into the ship and continue on what we were doing after I recharge. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is build a med bay in here relatively quickly because then I can recharge a lot faster. I mean, not that it really matters at this point, but it would be nice. Uh, that's the maintenance area. Is my light off? My light is off. Okay. All right, so we've got this in here, and then I said that we needed to put in some stairs here so that we can go up here. And then, okay, so then at this point, okay, so I can fit, I mean, I could probably make everything just go right at my feet if I wanted to and just have the bottom here for connecting tubes and stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to put a conjunct, uh, conveyor junction there. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, go with this guy and then connect that all up. Okay, so now these are all connected. And then, depending on how I want this to work, um, okay, so our enclosed hydroponics and the water recycler, these are each one block. Um, and the food resequencer is also one block. Hmm. And I think this just has connections on the sides. I don't think it has anything on the bottom. Uh, spin it around real quick. Yeah, so this just has connections on the side. So how do I want to do this? Um, I could put this up here. Uh, put a connector there, have it plug into it, I think. So let's go ahead and get that in there. And then I've already got that there. And the open hydroponics, I don't know which way this thing is supposed to go in. Assuming something like that. So we'll do that there. And that will connect to the hydroponics. And then, let me see. Oh, no, no, no. That's going to be connected into the ship. We don't want to do that. Um, shit. OK, so sorry, Mr. Hydroponics. You're going to have to come out. I know I just spent all the time putting you in, but like I said, I want to have the daily needs stuff be a closed system. Um, so that way, when I, wow, it already put gravel in there. That's awesome. Well, I don't need the gravel, so, oh, and that's going to take a while. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, can I move it off? No, it doesn't do that. Okay. Uh, okay, um, I'm not going to be able to access it from there, I don't think. And I need access to something so I can drop all this stuff off, but it would be easier to put it into the cargo containers here. Um, don't need that or that or that or that or that. So yeah, that's exactly why I don't want to have that uh, connected um, into the ship system because there's going to be a lot of gravel. 
and I don't want those things to always fill up with gravel. So the amount of gravel that's going to be in that system will be specifically dependent on how much I put in it, uh, which is exactly how I want that to go. And I don't like doing this because it creates floaties out there that I really don't want to put in there. But I mean, what else am I going to do it? Like throw it back into the system? I mean, I could, I suppose. Okay. Um, so something that you can do. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me think here. This is really hard trying to fit everything into like just a too wide area. Um, I'm sure that I probably don't need all these crop growers, um, but I'm gonna keep them in there anyways because it'll make it'll be cool to have those as kind of like a floor to walk on. Uh, okay. So let me see. So we need the food resequencer. I do know that. Um, we can make this accessible from the bottom or from the top, I should say, if I'm standing on top of it. Uh, and I think these have connectors on four of the six sides as well as this is all four on the six sides and I think that as well. Um, so if I can, I want these to kind of be up against the wall. Um, and then I would need some sort of way. Okay, hang on. Okay, so what am I doing in here for pieces and parts? Uh, okay, I have to check out the other side, see what I did, if I can. Um, okay, guess we'll go out the back, take a look. Okay. So on the edge there, that is going all the way up with a two by one. Okay, and that's one, two after the last thruster. If this was in space and if I could fly, this would be a lot easier. Um, but it's not, so no use complaining over things that I cannot change. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, can we jump up on here? Can we jump up on here? Whew, I almost fell off. Okay, so there's that. So then one, two after this. Okay, so then this is where, okay, so that's gonna be right up on there. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, hey, it'll let me put it right there. Sweet, okay. I was just thinking about how am I gonna fit that in there? Um, yeah, so we want that there. That's gonna go up there and also, just make sure that's correct, up there. Okay, and then in here, I don't think we're gonna put anything, so we'll just throw a block in there. Okay. So now we have something to walk onto so I'm gonna head back in there. Oops, okay, in here. All right, so then we'll go this way, food processing. Okay, so now we have something to walk onto. Okay, and we have access to that. So, okay. How are we gonna do this? Okay, so this conveyor we can take out and replace with, no, we can't because that's the ship's conveyor, so I can't do that. Okay, so we cannot connect anything to that. That's gonna make this more difficult. Um, oh man, this is just gonna make this whole thing more difficult. And this is a regular block, what's behind here? 
Oh, okay. So that needs to be there. That is a structural block. Um, how are we going to do this? Okay, let's, well, no, because that has to stay there. So, okay, so let's, let's get rid of this guy right here. Um, I need access to, can I hit that from here? No, I can't. Okay, so I know that there is a connector up here. So we'll have this be our short little area to do stuff with. Okay. Okay, so now that we are in here, we can pick up that stuff. All right, and then we're gonna get rid of this, and then this is gonna be our passageway in. And that just fell all the way to the ground. Oh, man. Okay, don't need that, don't need that, or any of that, or all of those, or those, or all of those. All right, so if we walk in here, Or, or, hang on. Okay, so let's put a block here and then we'll take a half stair. Is it this one? I don't know if it's this one. I think it's that one. Okay, so then this will go up onto here and we can get two of our beds. And then we can also walk past this and then access some stuff in here maybe? Let me think about how I would do this if I was to do this. What is that doing? The vent, I have no idea what the vent is doing right now. That's that's weird. What is it set to do? Sorry, that's just that's just bugging me right now. Um and it shouldn't be open. Or shouldn't be doing anything actually. So are you set to depressurize? Yes. So it's just being weird, apparently. Okay. So if we go in here, I want to have stairway going down. Hang on. I might have an idea. So let's grab the other stair. And we're going to throw this one. No, not like that. Okay, we're, so we're gonna put this one in here like this so that we can access this block here. And then this block here will be one of our things. So we'll throw the water recycler in here. But then I can't connect to it unless I get rid of this block as well. So then we'll throw in a conveyor sorter. No, that's not what we want. We want a conveyor junction. Okay, and then we do the water recycler. So that way that's facing kind of towards us and it connects in. Sorry, hiccups. Um, so it connects in there. Um, I do need to recharge. Um, what is the fastest way down? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have no idea. We're just going around in circles right now. I mean, I could just put like another seat like on the deck, fan deck somewhere or the meeting room. <sighs> I don't know, man. We charged yet? Okay, we are charged. 
Okay, so let's head back up into here. And then head back down. Okay, so we have this in here. We can place... Oh, we can't do anything with there because that is using up Gur. Okay, so then here we can get to the water recycler. And then we can throw in the food resequencer here. Uh, or not. Um... Yeah, I've got no way to get this in there at this point. Um, unless I redo this a little bit, take that out, put, and then put in a curve there, and then I can come out here. Oh my god. And then I also need to take out that one. I'm not going to have enough room. Okay. So we're going to throw in 100 of those, all that, all that, all that, and that. OK. Now, I've got everything so interconnected with all the tubes that even with that part taken out, I'm pretty sure that everything is still connecting. Um, and you want to make sure that you do that with your uh, conveyor system. You want to make sure that it's very redundant. Um, Okay, so then from here, we want to take out that block if we can get to it. Will you let me get to it? Will you let me jump at all? Okay. Okay, and then we'll throw in uh, another conveyor junction here. And we'll throw in a curved tube here. And then what that does, it allows me to take this out here. Um, I could do a tube or I could do a junction. I think I'm going to do a junction. And we'll flip this guy around. Okay, and then from here we can do a corner. Okay, and then from that we can throw in. So we have our water recycler. We need our food resequencer. And then that will be connected into the system. Do I want the arm? Okay, do I want veggies or do I want fruits? Veggies or fruits? And we'll do it this way. Okay. So that is our food resequencer. We've got our water recycler. We've got our crop growers. And then the open hydroponics. I think I'm actually going to do that a little differently. So for those, we'll get up here, and we'll have that kind of float here, uh, going up and down. OK, so that's that. Um, and then we need our closed hydroponics. I mean, I suppose we don't need them, but it would be nice to have them. I mean, I like, I like how that looks, right? OK, so then what do we need? There's no way for me to connect a tube up in there and still be able to slide through there, so I can't do that. Um, OK, hang on. This guy here I can take out. So we have connection here, here, and here. And the enclosed hydroponics has connections on all four sides. So that is actually going to work out quite nicely, because then it will connect to this, to that, to this, which is also going to connect into there. OK. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. We don't have as many crop growers as I was hoping for, but we do have some. Um, and then we can stick some glass over here on the side just for some added protection. And then if I have room, I could put a vent on here 
that would kind of cover that up. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's just see how it looks first. And then the vent would need to be connected into the ship system, which would be perfect right there. And that actually doesn't look too bad. Can I really not reach that? I can really not reach that. Okay, fine. Um, we don't need you open. Okay. I have to sneeze real quick. Hold on. Okay. I'm better. I'm back. Okay. Whew. All right, so we are going to need to make more of the steel plates. So we're going to grab a bunch of those, and then we're going to make, I don't know, like 4,000. Okay. And now we should have everything that we need in here, I think. So we have our hydroponics here, we have our hydroponics here, we have our food resequencer here, we have our water system here, our water recycler, I should say. Um, we have our growing pods here. And one thing that I do wanna do is throw in some catwalks. And then these will go all the way to the glass. Um, unable to place, why are you unable to place? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. That is not where I wanted you. <laughs> okay, so hang on. Let me see. Okay, so let's go with our railing. Uh, half left or half right? I think we need half right. Okay, so we'll throw that on there. <laughs> and then that should allow us to do a catwalk with a single edge, I'm just gonna use this one. Okay, so then that will go and connect up onto here. At least I thought it would, okay. And then we want the railing, oh wait, we need the railing. Uh, single railing towards the edge there, okay. And then from here, that will allow us to throw another one here. And then we have the space to walk around on. Um, do I need construction components? I think I need construction components. Um, I should actually be able to access the protection queue from here. Because I'm just telling it what to do. I'm not actually. So we'll throw some of those in there. Um, I don't know if I needed them or not. I think I did. Um, those are close, but it looks like we're good. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then this is just going to be a wall of glass here. And then, okay. And then this can just be regular old armor blocks because I'm not going to need anything over there. Um, and then I just need to throw the glass on here. Now, over on the other side, I used two by one pieces of glass. And just to kind of get in here. Okay, so that is from the lower level up to the level of the door. Okay. And then we're actually up an additional level here. So the glass is gonna go down here. Please don't fall off. I think I can hit that. Um, and I don't know how far forward we went over on there. So I'll have to go and count. No, we don't, we don't wanna slope. We want one by two flat, there we go. Okay, uh, can I reach that? Yes, I can, okay. Um, okay, so that's gonna be dark from the outside, so throw that in there and then so that gives us four windows um, let's see how many we put on the other side so we have one two three four okay so I think that's all fine 
Um, okay, so that starts. So from the door, or the door, the block the door is in, we go out one, so it's two after the door. Okay, so then from here, so the door block, then one, and then we start here. Okay, so that's all perfectly lined up. Good. Um, and then what am I going to do for up here and in here? All right, so I do know that this has to go on top of here. Uh, okay, so that is the correct way. And then, okay, so I have to block this off somehow, some way. Um, and then over here, I just ran the floor out, which I could technically do here. Well, no, I couldn't. So this is going to have to be blocked off somehow because I do want this to be its own pressurized section. Um, and we do have, didn't I build a vent? I thought I built a vent. Okay, so let's throw a vent in there. Oh, I probably didn't want to do that because now I don't have any parts left. Yeah, I just used all my plates. Okay, so I need to get more plates now. That was dumb. Okay, and I don't need this, don't need that. Everything else is okay. All right, um, so here I just have a block covering the entrance, which is fine, I can do that. And then I have a full block here. Okay. And I think that goes all the way down. So, oh, we can't, no, no, no. Okay, so that needs to go there, I think. Okay, so then that kind of blocks this off. And then we actually have this block here that we can use for the daily needs LCD output. Um, boop, 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 uh, okay, no, I need you to go. Can you not go in here? <laughs> oh, it's got to be on the. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. So then we have our LCD, the first thing that we see when we come in here. Um, how is my energy low again? Okay, we are just going to put a seat in here somewhere. Because I don't like having to go down to that other one all the time. So, hurry up and build, please. Thank you. All right, and we are at 43 minutes. So we have another 17. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is looking somewhat like it's supposed to, maybe, sort of. I don't know, I can't tell. What do we have going on down here? That's just going all the way down as well. Um, I mean, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to rip this thing apart just to see how everything is going in here. Not excited about that, actually. Uh, okay. <sighs> okay, so over on this side, after the windows end, we have just straight blocks, but over here we can't do that. So the question is, do I put windows in here? And then how do I get this to sort of cover the area and get it to seal? Um, hmm. Okay, so I know that I'm going to be ending up putting windows on here. And I think they're going to go all the way on the edge here. 
So something I could do, maybe, is throw some two by one windows in here and then have the same thing over here. So that way they would just stick up one block. Um, but I do want to kind of like to be able to see in here. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, oh man, I have no idea how I want to do this. Um, I don't want to make something that's like completely like not symmetrical, but I think I'm not going to have too much of a choice. So we'll throw that in there. Um, I could put glass across the top here, and that way you can at least walk in here, you know, and kind of see stuff. I mean, it's not actually going to do anything because the glass is going to be occupying these blocks here. Uh, but this is a 2 by 3 block, so I guess we're going to give it a try, man. All right, so we'll throw this in. And then, okay, so that's going to have to be inverted. Wait, wait, no, 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 that's going to have to be on the outside. Um, because that's where those windows are. Oh, man, that's just going to be dumb. Okay, got that one in there. And then we're going to have to get this one in here somehow. Can we get it up in there? I think that worked. That'll go in there on the outside as well. Okay. So with those being on the outside, we can now grab a 3 by 2 window and kind of put it over on top of here. So um, 2 by 3 flat. And then do we want this to go dark side down or the other side down so that we can actually see in here all the way. I think we can do that. Uh, we're going to need a lot of glass though. Uh, if you don't mind, I would like to access the menu. Um, base assembler, we're going to need a lot of glass. So we'll do 3,000 of that. If it wants to build anytime soon. Okay. So that should get all of this going. Um, this glass here is actually using up all six of these blocks here, so I can't actually do anything in here. But we do have our windows here, and we can duplicate that out here, I think. Okay, so let's flip this around. And I think we need to go out one more. Yeah, I think that's where the glass is. Okay. And then we'll throw this. Okay, seriously, can you just work with me here? Three and then four. And that gets us right to the edge there. Okay, so we're kind of mirroring mirroring everything. Oh, that's weird. That is trippy. Should I redo this and put it dark side out? Just that way it doesn't look like you're going to fall in. Or, or, I could put a railing around here so you can look in there. Okay. That still doesn't think that it's sealed. The door is probably open, though. Okay, so if you close the door. Okay. Unless that doesn't count as a solid block, in which case all the air is flying out of there. Um, okay. That could potentially be the issue. Um, and we did put four over here, right? Yes, yeah, so that's going kind of like one beyond. Um, and then I need to put in this guy over here. This is a one by two flat. Okay, so that is what we want. Uh, sir, if 
you don't mind. Why are you why are you arguing with me right now? Because there's already glass there. I can't even see that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. So all right. So do we want to keep this for like access to everything in here, like just from the bridge, or do we want to make it so that way you have to go down here to access stuff? And I think we want to make it to where you have to go down there to access stuff. But at the same time, this is a window, and it's got a view. And I want to kind of keep it here. So uh, we're going to do the next best thing and throw a steel catwalk plate in here and cover that up. And then, I mean, do I need a railing around here? I mean, I suppose I don't really need a railing but I kind of want a railing. And I'm pretty sure that's not a solid block, so I'm gonna have to put some stuff in the back of there. Oh, man. Okay, so on the back of this block. Oh, and if those don't seal on the corners there, we are kind of screwed. And that's got, okay, but I've already got glass there. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, and then we can drop this all the way down, I think. Okay. Now from there, that's probably going to be an issue. So we're going to have to put... Man, we're gonna have to block this off, which means we're gonna have to redo that. Oh, man. Okay, so let's hop over here. Okay, so we're gonna take this guy out and we're gonna throw in a cargo block here, or a junction. Okay. And then that has to be uh, a corner piece. And then this piece does not necessarily need to be that. But if we put a block here now, that should seal on all corners. So now it just depends on how I want this thing to look. And then at the same time, I've got, OK, can we? Can you just like jump like a normal person? Now this here, we're gonna redo. Hopefully nothing falls, okay, good. And then we're gonna replace that with just straight blocks. And then we can do straight blocks here and here. And then hopefully I will never have to go in there to change anything again. Um, then we have a nice solid edge here to work with. I think that's all closed off. So now we just need to see and make sure that we are sealed now. And we are. OK, good. So that was the last thing. OK, so we are now completely sealed. Um, I think I do want to flip this thing around. I feel like it's. Like, I should be able to see up clearly and then see down darkly. Um, and then that's got all that stuff. We've got access to our grower thingy things here. We've got access to, and I can put something here if I wanted to. Actually, what if I put, no, that would be dumb. I was thinking I could put like a, one of these armor, uh, no, where is it? Uh, this guy. I was thinking I, would, I could put like an armory locker in here, but if in the food area, that doesn't really make much sense. So what could I put in here that would make sense? I mean, I don't need to put anything in there. I could put a railing and just kind of prevent me from jumping off the edge there. Am I taking damage? I have no idea what's going on. It's going to be half left, I think, is what I need. And we'll rotate and rotate. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's what we're going to occupy this block with. Um, just going to have to deal with it, I guess. So now we have access to our food, hydroponics, well, enclosed hydroponics, open hydroponics, water, and then our crop growers up here. And then I think every single block in here has been used because these are using these lower blocks, that lower block, this is using up this block, um, the stair here is using up this block. We don't, we're not actually using anything here in this block, so we do have one empty block. Um, just for fun, I think I'm gonna put a button panel on there. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but it's there. And this is used, that's used. Uh, this block here is used for this, this is used for this, that's used for that, that's used for that. So yeah, with that, every possible block in this area is being used, except for this one right here in the corner. I could put something in there, I suppose. Daily needs output LCD. I have no idea what this thing is supposed to do. If it's supposed to do anything, I, I have no idea. Are you supposed to do anything? I have no idea. But it's there. So in case it does do anything, it'll be there. Um, yeah, I really, I, I really want to redo this. This just looks terrible. <sighs> okay. But that's going to use up all of my inventory space. If I do that, so I'm going to need quick access to something to drop everything off. Uh, hopefully this is fast enough before that starts growing back or building back or repairing or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So there's that and now we need the window blocks and uh, we're going to go with this one. Okay, so that is clear. We're going to go with the dark. All right. And then I am out of girders. That was kind of to be expected. All right. So let's grab some more. There we go. Okay, so... I think, yeah, I think this looks a lot better because it... <sighs> Go away. All right, so this, at least you know that it's glass now. Um, so stepping on here isn't, well, shouldn't be an issue too much. Um, I'm not going to be able to cover up the conveyors, but that's okay. How is my energy low again? All right, and we are just about at an hour, so I might end this one a little bit early. Um, as soon as I get recharged, I guess that's good enough for now. Okay. So, uh, in this episode, we completed our daily needs section. Um, we, and then in the last episode, we completed our residential section or our, our rooms, I guess. So I've got a shower in case I need a shower. I got a bathroom in case I need a bathroom dispenser in case I want a snack that can go there and then up in the meeting room is going to be like the kitchen and i'm going to throw some like a table in here or something somewhere and then this will just have glass kind of like all around the edge here i don't know what i'm going to do here yet um like i said i mean in order for me to get at this i either have to build infrastructure all around here so i can walk around on the outside or I just need to bring this thing up to space and work on it up there. Uh, so either way, uh, that should, I don't know. I don't know what it should or should not do. Um, but yeah, so we've got windows, we've got windows, we've got blocks here and here. Um, the command deck, I do wanna have this be like too high, but then windows only on the bottom, just so that way it creates kind of like a encapsulated feel to it 
And then this is going to be, I don't know how I'm gonna build this yet. I might just do uh, the, oh look, there's another crash over there. Uh, oh, that's probably where the rest of the ship went. Okay. But yeah, so that'll be here. Uh, windows all on that edge. Uh, the command, well, whatever command deck will probably be sitting right on top of that window there. Um, and I did make sure that those are on the underside. So they're actually in the block, this block here, not the block above. So I can actually put stuff on top. Um, and then I just need this to kind of go around and do its thing. So that's going to be done. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. We'll work on that in the next one. But yeah, for now, uh, we are at an hour, slightly over an hour. And uh, yeah. I will catch you guys in the next one. So uh, have a good day, and I will see you later.